Francis here from MTBR, and today I'm going to talk about two of the finest tray racks in the market. The One Up USA Equip D for 730 bucks, and the Saris MTR for $800. Which is better? Tune in and find out more for MTBR. Okay, so we have the king of the category, the 1UP USA aluminum rack. The best thing I can say about this rack is you look at a rack that's 10 years old, it still looks good and it still works about the same. And it's an incredible rack that really invented the category. The category is tray rack where the rack doesn't touch the frame. It only touches the tires and it holds it secure. So quite a novel, novel concept. If it has one weakness, it's expensive, and there really hasn't been so much innovation on it. You know, they kind of look the same, and they work the same as they, they did 10 years ago. But that's all changing with the, with the Equip D, something very new. And now we have a legitimate contender, the Saris MTR Modular Tray Rack, $800. They just came right out of the box, said, hey, we're gonna be more expensive. We're gonna be bigger, more polished, more expensive. So we had to put it out on a shootout. So we're gonna review it separately, but for now, we're gonna tell you about the key differences uh, between the racks. So these are both two inch models and they both come in two tray racks. The two tray racks, you can add another double or a single or a double, so you can hold four bikes. They're strong enough for that. And they also come in singles. Singles, uh, you can add a single, make it two or three. So they, they go to a max of, of, of three. Why do you want a single? I'm gonna show you in a little bit. But the main reason is a single, you don't have to take off and on your car. It just stays in there, stealth, you can barely notice it. You can still open your tailgate, um, open your hitch, even when the rack is not folded. Intrigued? Tune in. Okay, so, First, we're gonna go through the 1UP Equip D. It's really been polished, updated. It is now wider. It is now narrower here. The, the skeleton is narrower. It, it's not, it doesn't have those two bars. Lots of reflectors for safety. Uh, it has the ratchet and most important, it has a nice knob to tilt it uh, before you had to reach in there. Really inconvenient. Also, they have a new locking cam me mechanism. Uh, over here that's more convenient uh, and a lock uh, that's really awesome. That's that. The MTR just comes straight out of the box, out of the out of the gates saying, hey, we're gonna be bigger, more polished, just as sturdy. Oh something I didn't show on the these things are gnarly. You know, these are big trucks, but you push on the rack. The whole truck moves. Okay, we go back to the uh, MTR. So the MTR is folding as well, has a quick release, has these huge bars, plus bike compatible or mini fat bike, uh, really big trays, uh, 60 pound capacity, 50 pounds on that one. Why 60? You have these big cruisers or more importantly, these e-bikes that are kind of heavy. Um, so 60 for both. You could probably go a little heavier on the inside tray, but 60 is what they prescribe, and they say uh, a fairly long wheelbase. Uh, 53, and that one I think is 56. Uh, I'll, I'll put it on the stats, but shockingly, even though this is much longer, that claims a wider uh, wheelbase capacity for bikes. Why is this important? As the bikes have gotten ratter, um, they've gotten longer. Also, the plus tires and fat Fat, fat tires have become a real thing, um, and your rack needs to be able to accommodate that. So let me uh, fold it out. So very sturdy. Oh, the locking cam mechanism on this is incredible uh, because it is not on one corner, it is on the side. So as you'll notice right away, this is completely level. That one, the, the lock, the, the cam mechanism, the reason why these things are so sturdy is there's a cam mechanism that just wedges it into the hitch, and that's why there's no wiggle. Wiggle is bad. 
because on a, rock, on a bumpy road, that just amplifies the motion and the shock. Um, so you do that. This thing has a middle position. I'm not sure why. My friends do it when they park, so when they get hit, they get rear-ended. They, they think the things that protect their car. I don't know. But it is in the way. You can't just release the bar. You have to hold it for a little bit past this point. And then, boom. One thing interesting is this lever is stiff uh, because of the tolerances. So look at that. Very tight tolerance. Because of that, uh, it is on a friction mode. So when you, um, when you try to pull this, it's, it's, it's loading up. It's binding up. So you have to unweight it a little bit. Then you can pull it. That thing's in the way, boom. So this almost has no plastic parts, just a little, uh, uh, what do you call this, PVC right here, where the tray sits. This is a more plastic parts. So there's the cam, you release it. It's easier to release. Um, it's, more, it's more loose, and then boom, it locks. Notice there's a little bit more, more play here. The tolerance is not as tight as that one. But this is really not so much of an issue because the bikes weigh it down. Tilts down as well. So here, I, if I pull it, it's a little easier, but you know, with these racks, it's best to unload it, lift it up a little bit, and then boom. Okay? So, some key differences on this rack. This is a really advanced rack. Um, the lever is here. It's fairly big. It's about the size of your hand. And then, boom, and right here, there's a ratchet. So it's very convenient. It's a single hand operation because usually your ha other hand is busy. Uh, another innovation is it gets out of the way. Why is that important? I'm not really sure, but you can roll your bike in. You can do one wheel at a time. I'll show you how it's more difficult there. Uh, it has these locks. Not very uh, protective, but hey. Usually the thief will, will pick the, uh, the path of least, least resistance. So the one with no lock is gonna get stolen. Uh, but this one, if you leave it alone for a day, you're, you're gone. Uh, another key innovation here is there's a stop here. Is this adjustable? I think it's uh, removable. So the stop is so the tire can rest on it. So usually the front tire uh, can rest on it, but not required. And then boom. Notice it's completely straight. So your tire limit is up to here, you know, where it's full strength is, where it's, it's vertical. Um, on the, um, there's a guide here. So if you remove it off and on, there's a little guide. I'll show you on the close up. So when you push it in, it's gonna stop right there. Kind of handy. Let's see another crazy thing is this thing can slide like this. So on some applications, you want to, you don't want it uh, occupying the sides. Um, you could you could push all four trays vertical. It's kind of weird because it's gonna block your your rear view mirror even more. But I can see some handy applications of it. So very sturdy. I'm into that. Uh, let's go back here. So get past that point, and then it's gonna lock. If you wanna get it, get the thing out of the way. Oh, boom! Oh, it has no stop. That's kind of cool. Did that thing have a stop? Oh, no stop there either. So you just lift it up. Boom. Okay. So the mechanism here is now it's a it's a tiny little button. It's a little too small because this thing becomes weighted as, as you, you're taking off the bike. So there you go. And same situation there. It starts ratcheting right around here. And one thing is because it's got a cam and an angle, um, you have a little more room here past the tray where you're at vertical, where you have your maximum force. Kind of cool. And this is kind of a, a one-up innovation where the, the, the thing that touches your tire, your road tire, or your mountain bike tire, is aluminum. 
So this is a very high friction item. It's not gonna wear out. Okay, well, why don't we put a bike on? As you see, the ease of use on this. So boom, first you open it up, obviously. Boom, boom. So a little more, more chatter on that, on this tray. So you try to center it. And then this is always a test of how rigid these racks are. I like to just put some pressure on that thing. Cause it's weird. Nothing is holding it from going this way except for the wheels. So you want as much pressure as possible. Pretty sturdy. And over here, so let's say this one might be a little easier with one hand. So you go like this, because so you, you can do the the you can you could uh, uh, press the button and lift the lever with one hand. What I like to do is put the front tire fairly close to perfect. Lift, get in there. So this guide really kind of sets your position the same all the time. So there you go. Pretty sturdy, huh? So, beautiful rocks. Now the one up is pretty close to each other. You know, this pedal, if you have really wide pedals, they might interfere with each other. Um, you definitely need dropper posts because of these wide bars to get the interference out of the way. Uh, but they are staggered. Both of them are staggered in height. This one, the stagger is a little more pronounced than this. Staggering means uh, there's less chance of bar and saddle interference. The fact that this is so close to each other means that you, your fat bikes, uh, with their crazy wide cranks and uh, crazy big tires might be a little bit of an issue. Uh, but usually it's pretty rare that you have two big, big time fat bikes that you're carrying. Um, so one key advantage of the one up is the pin mechanism is on a big oval, not just a hole, it's a big slot. That means you have a bunch of room um, to put it uh, forward and backward, depending on how close you want it to the vehicle. So you have that option. This one, like a lot of, thing, a lot of ones, there's, a, there's your, your hitch has a hole and the rack has a hole. So you've got to line up and boom, that's your position. So I'll show you some close-ups of that. So that's an advantage. So something really interesting, like I said, mentioned before, is uh, these, these racks uh, have a one bike option or a two bike option add-on. So four bikes, these both can handle four bikes. But if you want your rack on your vehicle all the time, don't have to take it off, uh, don't have to fold, unfold it, go for the single tray. And then when your buddies come, then you can add a, a, another, uh, another tray or a double tray for three by capacity. So both of these, both of these uh, racks do that. Both of them are crazy sturdy. I love them. Um, which one is better? It's a tough one. Um, I would lean towards, this one's a little easier to use, a little more modern. Um, you know, it, it, it's kind of got some nice design aspects to it. Um, so it, it's a real contender, a little more expensive, but really this one, when you see a one-up in person, it's kind of a love affair. Every bolt, um, every finish, you know, every bar is made like a handmade bike. I think they hand make it uh, over there. <laughs> it's a work of art. Really, pictures don't do it justice, how nice it is. And so people really fall in love with their one-ups. There's no, it's kind of raw, 
you know, no, no plastic molding here to cover it. So it's a little sharp at, at points, but it's, it's the essence of it. You know? If you're kind of an industrial guy, you know, kind of a raw finish, raw materials kind of guy, this is the one. If you want a little more polished, little more bleeding edge kind of design, um, things where the guts aren't as exposed, like right here, NTR, it's a good option too. So I think the, 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 the winner is the consumer. You know, I'm gonna show you a few more tray racks. We have one from Eno, um, and um, you know, they, it, it's a growing category where uh, it's, it's really just polished racks. They don't touch your bike. Uh, they can handle any wheel size. And the real, real winner is the consumer uh, because now you have an option uh, between two great companies, all American uh, labor, most of the parts, probably most of the materials are American. Uh, but it's, it's great to have this option of more than one player, uh, a couple players, and you know these guys are, are in a race now. They're gonna keep developing uh, their stuff. Maybe, maybe they'll even uh, get on a, on a, on a price war because they're kind of expensive right now. <laughs> but if you want the best and uh, made in the US, look no further. Thank you.